Good morning. We are at the dog park. It's a beautiful day. The weather is awesome. I'm in short sleeves, a little bit of chill bumps, but that's okay because we got the sun. Um, if you don't follow me on social media, then you haven't seen the dog park before. This is the dog park at my apartment complex. How cool is that? The girls love it, especially when they, uh, <laughs> when they um, have been inside for the whole weekend, basically, because I feel bad leaving them at home for five hours at a time. They're little, but they still have to get some energy out. So I'll take them here and let them run around for a bit. It ends up being like this sometimes where they don't run around and they just hang out with me, but I don't know. It makes me feel better. It's probably more of a selfish thing than anything. All right, so here's the deal with the car. I called the guy today or the dealership and he's like, He's like, it's probably fine to drive here, but only drive it here. Like, don't like just go about your day. Um, he's like, try and just drive it here. Um, he's like, I can't tell you for sure. Cause then that's a liability. You know how people are these days. Um, he said that based on what I'm telling him about the lights, that it doesn't seem like it's in like dire, like can't be driven. Um, and that the EPC light can be triggered by lots of things. So he made me feel a little bit better about it. Um, so I am gonna try and drive it there. Worst case scenario, I get a few miles down the road and I just call a tow truck anyways. Um, drop it off. He can't officially get me an appointment until tomorrow, but he's like, if you just have it here and we have some extra time, we can probably get to it today. I just can't guarantee it. Okay, so that's the plan. Take it there carefully you know like the people in the right hand lane with the blinkers on that's gonna be me so i have to unload the car there's not a lot in there but i have a little apartment so the little apartment fills up fast um so take it there and then i'm gonna ask about a courtesy vehicle i know that they have the shuttle i just don't know if like the shuttle person is just like sitting there waiting for me <laughs> or if like he's out helping somebody else and i have to wait a little bit so depending on what they say about that, I'll either just take the shuttle right back or the Target is across the street. So I'll go to the Target and then just get an Uber from the Target back home. Cause I do literally need groceries, shampoo. There was something else on my list. I can't remember toilet paper. Like I got things I need. You know, like I, I had a plan today to go run all these errands. So. All right, you guys, here goes nothing. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Will we just my luck if I go through all of this and take it to the dealership and everything and then they run their little diagnostic and they're like, nothing's wrong. I guess that really is a best case scenario, but okay. Yeah, it looks normal. Okay, wish me luck, I'm headed there. All right, treated myself to Chick-fil-A cop salad, if you're wondering. No tomatoes, avocado lime dressing. And yes, I put the little pepper crunchy thingies on there. Walking to the Target. Um, the guy said that at the dealership said that um, it might be nothing because I didn't have any issues driving over. Like the lights never came on. He's like, but it's good that you brought it in because you have a lease. If anything ever does happen, like we want to have all this on record. Okay, cool, fair, no problem. I'm, you know, taking one for the team today. So I am not going to do the grocery shopping. I'm just going to get like the shampoo and the melatonin and those sorts of things. That way I'm not carrying a bunch of stuff back over there because I might just be able to drive my car away. And then if I can't, then I'll figure that out later. But there's a good chance that I'm just gonna get my car back today. It doesn't feel like it was like dying or dead like I thought it was yesterday. So anyways, almost here. This is, you know what, like blessing in disguise. The weather is so nice. I would never have gotten that salad from Chick-fil-A and it was so delicious, hit the spot. You know what I mean? Like. 
Who knows what I would have done today if not for this? That seems like a very positive attitude that a therapist would really enjoy. Really finding the silver lining, proud of myself. All right, let's go shopping. Remember how yesterday I was like, I'm done with Starbucks? <laughs> Only cause they have it at the Target. And did you know, fun fact, that if you get a Starbucks at the Target, you can get a refill. Does that make sense? So you get one on the way in, do your shopping, mill about, then on your way out, you can get a free refill of whatever drink you got the first time, or I think anything else. I've tried it before and it worked. I'll try it again today. This is their new gingerbread oat milk latte. So like a take on the, what is this? A take on the brown sugar one. I haven't tasted it yet. Ooh. Okay, gingerbread cookie for real. All right, so since we're killing time today, I never look at the clothes at Target. Like, what is the point? But let's see what we've got some ready to wear. Let's see what, let's see what fast fashion is cranking out these days. Oh God, we have not only silver pleather pants, but pink. All right, some ready to wear inspo. I don't recommend you buying these things. You can definitely make them. Okay. Simple sweater knit, ribbed sweater, pencil skirt. Um, isn't that the Marlo sweater? It's just a basic cardigan with three buttons. But that would be super cute together with the cardigan kind of like tucked in. Or you can do it with like a plain tank top and then like do the cardigan tied, but now we're not tying around both shoulders. We're tying asymmetrically these days. Don't look like a millennial, okay? Um, but yeah, that is a cute little set, I thought. The fabric feels really good. Like I, it doesn't feel cheap. Like I would actually recommend for my non-sewing friends to buy this, but we can just make this. Okay, this is the new True Bias skirt. Look how cute it looks with like just your plain, oversized Oxford button down. Super cute little outfit with um, like booties or something. And I'm sure you already have one of these or your boyfriend or your husband or your dad or somebody has one. And this material is, I think it's twill. All right, if I were going to buy anything today, which I'm not, but if I were, when I do shop ready to wear, I only buy things that I can't make or I don't like making. There's very few things I don't like making, but like I can't make a sweater like this with that detail on it. I know that you can get sweater and rib and all of that and put it together, but it's never the same. It's never the same. It's not gonna look like quilted like this. This one feels really good. I bet it has some acrylic in it. There's the tag, 100% cotton actually. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Yeah, it feels smoother than that. So I'm surprised it's not a blend. Um, and these like oversized ones are, again, super easy to style. Even with what I'm wearing today, I could put on like, there's not a navy one. So I could do this beige one. Here, let's do it. Let's do a try on. I'd probably go a size up to a large. Oh yeah. They're just really easy ways to like layer with these. I think I might put this in my cart online and wait for it to go on sale. It is nice. Okay, this, they're touting 
a cashmere like feel look at that honey did that um and it is very soft it's a poly poly acrylic yeah poly acrylic spandex blend okay these also feel incredible like butter like literally so soft and they have like a good amount of weight to them i thought it was going to be ponty but it's actually poly rayon spandex there's the i don't know if you can read that it's probably backwards um yeah these feel really really good and they're they're suggesting like a number like this or like this kind of a sparkly rib um but yeah this fabric feels really really good how much are they charging for these 28 bucks it's not a bad price <laughs> Yeah, there's like a little faux. They did pretty good. I mean, you could wear these to work and you'd be in pajamas. Nice deep pleat or deep hem. And then this little pleat along the front. Nothing on the back. These are really, really nice. I would recommend these again to my non-sewing friends. Maybe even with just a little tank like this. And one of those sweaters. Oh, that would be a really cute outfit. Excuse me. <laughs> it's the Starbucks. This is the same fabric as that cashmere thing. And there's a, it's like a set. There's like a tank top and a cardigan. Pink, red, white, and lime green. It feels so good. So good. Okay, tell me why this cheaper version cheaply cheap cheaperly made without the details without the faux fly without the deep hem still has this is more expensive than those other ones this is a cotton poly span the rayon spandex feels a million times better okay i put it in my cart i don't know if i'm gonna get it but i did find this little set it's this and some shorts like a little loungy set ten dollars in clearance also i'm in the sock section because word on the street is that no show socks are out and you have to show a little bit of like an ankle sock okay dealership is called the car is ready i'll tell you about it whenever we get out of here because i gotta um hop to it but we are not using sulfates and silicone anymore right you guys aren't putting that in on your hair correct we need sulfate free and silicone free this is my favorite brand maui moisture hair care and before you're like oh it makes my hair so heavy they have different levels so they have one made with hibiscus water that's very very lightweight shampoo and conditioner for like thin hair that's like already pretty silky and healthy then it goes up and up and up from there where coarse hair, dry damaged hair, all of that gets more and more moisture as you go up the scale. Okay, you can get it on Amazon or Target, but it's in like the specialty hair care place. Okay, dealership. So my car is ready. I was right. It isn't, it technically isn't broken. They said that when they ran the little diagnostic thing, they could see in the history that there was some little blip with the catalytic converter. Am I saying that right? He said, this can happen for a variety of reasons. Those sensors are all very sensitive, but they checked it all out and everything was fine. He said something about using off-brand gas, which I never do. He's like, if you go to the same gas station every time, that's probably not it. And then I remember <laughs> the last time that we got gas, Dan pumped the gas for me and he like you know when it automatically stops like it's full he filled it up filled it up filled it up filled it up until he could see it see the gas like barely almost coming out of the tank so I said could that be it he's like oh yeah definitely <laughs> so I can't wait to tell him that he nearly broke my car by putting that much gas in it um so that's the deal with the car so I'm headed back to get it 
On my way home, I'm gonna stop and get groceries. I got myself at Target. I did not get the set, the $10 sleep set. Passed on that. But I got socks, shampoo, melatonin, and some new um, blue light glasses that I really actually need. Okay, busy intersection, gotta go.